Simplify each of the following powers. Any variables in your final answer should be written with positive exponents. Fractional exponents should be converted to a radical. Since we are multiplying powers at the same base, we can add the exponents. Clean up the double signs to get 5 minus 1 over 2. We can get a common denominator of 2. Subtract the fractions to get an exponent of 9 over 2. We can write this in radical form as root a to the power of 9. Now we'll move on to part b. Raise 27 to the power of 2 over 3 and raise a to the 1 half to the power of 2 over 3 as well. Multiply the fractions in the exponent for a to get 2 over 6. Reduce the fractional exponent of a to get 1 over 3. We can write 27 to the 2 over 3 in radical form as a cube root of 27 squared. We can write a to the 1 over 3 as the cube root of a. The cube root of 27 is 3, and this is still being raised to the power of 2. Three squared is nine. The answer is nine times the cube root of a. Now we'll move on to part C. Within the brackets, write the powers so they have positive exponents. Now flip the fraction and change the sign of the exponent. Raise everything to the power of 3 over 2. We can write 16 to the 3 over 2 as the square root of 16 cubed. We can write 9 to the power of 3 over 2 as the square root of 9 cubed. The square root of 16 is 4, and the square root of 9 is 3. The answer is 64a cubed over 27b to the 6. Now we'll move on to part D. We are multiplying powers at the same base, so add the exponents. Clean up the double signs to get minus 5 over 4, minus 4 over 3. We can get a common denominator of 12. Subtract the fractions in the exponent to get minus 31 over 12. Now write the power in the denominator with a positive exponent. The answer is 1 over the 12th root of 2 raised to the power of 31.